Hi everybody, it is Becca. So today I'm here with a tag and it's called the Beauty Scenario Tag. And I was tagged by my beautiful friend, Samantha Sherman. Um, so I will put her link down below if you're interested. I'm sure all of you know who Sam is, but in case you don't, it's down there. Thanks down there. Um, so I've never been tagged, I believe, to do a video so I'm pretty pumped so thank you so much Sam for this opportunity so let's go ahead and get started the first question is you have to get rid of all of their foundations and you can only keep one high end and one drugstore which one do you keep so for high end I don't really have like Chanel or like um, Givenchy or whatever so um, this is this is my high end. This is the Bare Mineral Spare Skin, and I've talked about this ever since I got this. I got it in the shade Bare Satin Number no. Six and Bare Linen Number no. Three, and I absolutely love them so so much. I have very dry skin, especially in the summertime for some reason. Um, but I'll just show you. It's kind of a mess right now, but so here's the applicator. It looks like, um, you know, something you would use for airbrushing, but it's actually really nice. I'm not sure you can see that because it's an absolute disaster, but hopefully you can. So for drugstore, this was so easy for me because I knew exactly what I wanted to put in there. It's a Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup. And I'm in the shade 220 Nude. There we go. And I did not pay $13.99 for that, by the way. I paid like a dollar. <laughs> so, and you're like probably thinking, how the heck did you do that? Go to my drugstore haul on how to save money. I got inspired by Tati and the Glam Life Guru. Just love her. So go check that out. I'll put a link down below for that too. So this is a hair. It's like a pinky nude color. I'm more, I used to be just like a um, pink, like a winter color, like cool complexion. But now since it's the summertime, I actually more neutral now. I don't know if it's different with age or whatever, but yeah i've been more neutral maybe more towards the pink but more neutral <laughs> so again this is in 220 nude and it's amazing so number two you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth do you approach the subject or con ignore it completely well i would say it would depend on if the interview went well and how that lady is during the interview if she's very stern and very like um what's the word i'm looking for she's very like straightforward you know then no i probably wouldn't tell her but if we her and i had a good conversation during the interview and you know we became friendly i would probably tell her be like oh by the way you have lipstick on your teeth just want to let you know so that you know it won't be in your teeth any longer and you won't embarrass yourself so that's probably what i would say <laughs> number three you're not feeling yourself and need a pick me up what lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful well, the first thing is anything that's like bright, like bright hot colors. Um, honestly, like what I have on today. This is Dodgy Girl from the Kelly Asmore collection from Max, so you can't get it anymore. So I didn't want to mention that one, but I did want to mention this Milani lipstick here. And this is in the color Rose Hip number 14. And I love the smell of these because they remind me of my grandma. Oh, it smells so good. So I'll show you the color. This is the color right here. Absolutely stunning. 
and it's just perfect to just pick me up when you know I'm feeling kind of upset so there's that rose hip for Milani so we're on number four now you go back in time for a day to your teenage years how would you do your hair and makeup differently well, when I was in high school, I wasn't really into makeup like at all. I really didn't start makeup till maybe 10 years ago. So the only thing I would say <laughs> is that I had hair down to my waist and I really wanted it changed. So I cut it off and I donated it to Lux of Love and I... <laughs> had a really 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 short haircut and I was so upset after that um so I wouldn't probably cut my hair as short and as dramatic as I did from having hair down to my hips to like very very short hair if you remember when Mandy Mark cut her hair off that was like when did I graduate? 2004. I think that was in 2003. She cut her hair really short. I brought that in. I said, here you go. Do it. I can't take it anymore. And it was off. And I regret that. <laughs> um, number five. You ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut. But they heard wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave and call your mom hysterical, B, cry in a chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? Honestly, I would probably choose A because that's what I would do anyways. Smile and say thank you and then call my mom bawling my eyes out saying, oh my word, my hair is gone. Um, I've no so sense you know everything that happened with me with the chemo and not having any hair it probably wouldn't bother me as much as it would have a year ago a year ago I had hair down to my waist again so yeah it probably wouldn't bother me as much now as it did then your friend surprises you with a four day city break and you have an hour to pack an hour to pack Hello. <laughs> Which do it all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? So it's kind of was kind of hard because I do have a lot of palettes and stuff, but not a lot with stuff in it. So the thing I'm gonna mention, I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I'll put a link down below. Um, but I got this at Sephora, and that was on sale. So it is the Urban Decay Shutter Face Case. And it has a lot of stuff in it. Hopefully I'm not blinding you guys. <laughs> okay, so the first thing here is you get five beautiful eyeshadows, cool toned. And, you know, of course I would be all over that. <laughs> um, and then you get a miniature size or deluxe sample size of the 24-7 Glenn and pencil in zero and then you get a super saturated high gloss lip color in love child and it's just like a beautiful pink color and then there's more but wait there's mine do you love those commercials <laughs> this right here is two a bronzer or more like a blush two blushes and a highlighter here it doesn't have names or anything but they're absolutely beautiful i hope you guys can will be able to see that because it's awesome so all you i would need is mascara and some foundation and concealer and then i would be done so i highly if you can find this get it because it's an awesome product so number seven says your house has been robbed don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty sash has been raided. Oh no! <laughs> what is the product you really hope is safe? Honestly, um, I wouldn't be too upset if they 
got most of my products because I can just rebuy them again. Um, but I'll probably like the limited edition MAC lipsticks or anything that's limited edition that would make me very, very, very sad. Okay, and then number eight, the last one is your face. Your face. <laughs> Number eight, your face borrows your makeup and returns in awful condition. So you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs. Well, I want to do C, definitely, or probably B. I would probably do A. And I would probably do what um, Sam said in her video. She said that, you know, you can just tell them, hey, you know what, why don't you keep it, you know? And then you can just buy yourself another one. So that is a really, I really like that. So then you will have, you know, gross makeup. So anywho, that is the tag. I hope you enjoyed it very much. And I hope that you will like and subscribe for the video. And my good friend Sam, thank you again so much for tagging me in this. So I hope all of you are having an amazing day, all of you. And I will see you guys in my next video. And until then, I'll see you later. Bye!